Hi all! Oyster Mushroom Expert with you. In the last video, I talked about what oyster mushroom blocks are in terms of weight and height. And why do we need to know the diameter and height of the block? Why do we need to know how much a block should weigh? Let's say you make blocks with a diameter of 22 cm and a height of 65 cm. You can make it weighing either 8 kg or 10 kg. However, what would be the correct weight? And what processes in the substrate are affected by this weight? In order for the substrate to be well overgrown with mycelium, it must be densely packed, but it cannot be strongly compacted either. What density should oyster mushroom blocks be made? There is a recommended density of the substrate, and it is from 0.4 to 0.5 kg of substrate per liter. What does it mean? I can explain in a simple way. This jar has a volume of 1 liter. And it should contain no more than 500 grams of substrate, along with mycelium. This is half a kilogram. The bag also has a volume that can be measured in liters. To find this volume, you can use the online calculator or the formula that you see on the screen. If you consider an online calculator, choose your usual measurement system. For example, let's take a block height of 65 cm and a diameter of 22 cm. The volume of such a block in liters will be 25. It is quite difficult to manually compact the substrate, especially straw, up to 0.5 kg. Therefore, we take the figure 0.4 kg, multiplied by 25 liters. The weight is 10 kg. Of these, the weight of the substrate will be 9.7 kg, and 0.3 kg is the weight of the grain mycelium. What happens if the weight is more? That is, we will compact the block so that it weighs not 10 kg, but 12 or 13 kg. Mycelium that grows in the substrate will not be able to breathe normally. If the substrate is too dense, gas exchange is disturbed in it. That is, the air will not be able to enter through the slots, and the carbon dioxide that the mycelium exhales will not be able to leave the substrate. Since the mycelium also exhales moisture, the liquid accumulates inside the substrate, causing waterlogging. Because of this, the yield will drop. Due to what can be overconsolidation of the substrate? The first reason is that the substrate fraction is too small. Here, for example, there are too many small sawdust and the substrate is so dense that it looks like a stone. Sawdust absorbs a lot of water and the substrate is wetted. As you can see, mycelium development is very poor. But the green mold trichoderma feels good. See also this photo. There is a lot of fine dust in this sunflower husk. Such a husk should be sifted through a sieve. Otherwise, this dust and other small particles will be saturated with water and the substrate will be too wet. The second reason is waterlogged substrate. That is, the fraction of the substrate can be normal and the raw material is clean. However, when raw materials are processed with hot water or steam, the substrate becomes waterlogged due to a violation of the processing methodology. What will happen to mycelium if the block density is lower than recommended? The substrate material will be loose. The mycelium will not grow well, as the hyphae cannot grow through the voids and cannot intertwine with each other. In addition, moisture evaporates, and through loose areas it leaves through the slots. The substrate dries out prematurely. Why does the substrate have a low density? The first reason is that the substrate was poorly compacted. If you make blocks manually, you need to press down the substrate several times as it is poured into the bag. Also, if the straw or other material is not chopped into pieces from 5 to 15 centimeters, it is very difficult to press it down so that there is no free space. The second reason is a dry substrate, the humidity of which is less than 67%. Then the bag will be very light, and the yield is very low. If you are making blocks with a hydraulic cylinder press, 
you can adjust the cylinder pressure so that the blocks have a density of 0.5 kg per liter. If the density is higher, for example 0.55 kg per liter, you need to observe how the mycelium overgrows in the substrate. Bags with a higher density of the substrate have a lower height. If the mycelium grows well, and there are no signs of gas exchange disturbance, you can decide for yourself which density is more convenient for you. If the substrate is sterilized in an autoclave, its density can vary from 0.4 to 0.6 kg per liter. It depends on the composition of the substrate and the method of packaging the substrate in bags or plastic jars. That's all for today.